Hello everyone. This is the Goodly Christian Witch. This is your Urim and Thummim divination for February 2014. Before we get into the divination, I would like to read a passage from the King James Bible regarding the origin of using the Urim and the Thummim as divination systems. Uh, Exodus 28.30 in the King James, James uh, Bible. And thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim. And they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. Now, these are known to be associated with the breastplate of Aaron and the twelve tribes of Israel that are associated with the twelve apostles of Christ and the twelve signs of the zodiac and all of that and the uh, permutations of the name of God, yod heh vav -He. What we got for this month was vav He yod He, the final He being that of Earth, which brings us to a lunar, silvery lunar permutation, which brings us to a yes answer. To be more specific, it is... Uh, the tribe of Dan, it is uh, the jack, uh, jacinth uh, for a stone or a gem. And the angel is Havaya or Havia. What we got directly from spirit from this angel and directly from the Lord is uplifting of the spirit and the soul is possible this month only if the skills of balanced communication are applied. A mercury based system rather than a solar or sun based system has been utilized for this divination. The most well-known mercury-based Urim and Thummim system has been put forth in Donald Tyson's book, Tetragrammaton. Please find the links to his book uh, in the description box below. A mercury-based system is necessary at this time. Due to the appearance of the Egyptian god Thoth and the influences of Mercury, very strong. Extremist behavior may ensue in February where emotions are leaning too far to one side or the other. This is best kept in check by adherence to higher minded principles, learning and study this month, patience and determination coupled with focus on one or two goals, just, just one or two goals, don't spread yourself too thin, will allow progress and even triumph. Gossip and defamation of character are assured. In other words, this will happen and best handled by minding one's own business and avoidance of similar behavior. So no monkey see, monkey do. Someone does it to you, no need to do it back. Gossip does not help. It only hurts. The tendency to explain oneself should also be avoided. If there is a complaint matters should be tackled straight on with firm resolve, courage, and honesty. Misfortune will find the cowardly in February and the same misfortune 
will flee away from the brave. Self-seeking behavior should not be confused with simply doing one's job. Sticking to the job at hand and doing it as well as possible proves to be good medicine this month. Thank you for watching and listening. We will see you next month. Until then, good fortune to you. This has been the Goodly Christian Witch.